Hello, it's Phil here at NAM 2015 with Chris Roman from Newmark. Hi, Chris. Hi, Phil. We got a Newmark speaker here. Yes, we do. But it's we more do. than a speaker, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It illuminates your music. It's the Newmark Lightwave. And we're really proud at NAM 2015 to show this off because we think it's actually a really great product. Uh, it solves a whole lot of problems for DJs who are looking for something for a small environment, some place where they don't have to, they can't set up that light tree or, or whatever because people will trip over to stand that it's on. Uh, a guy who's just getting into it, he needs something affordable. Someone who doesn't know what a light tree is. Exactly. Somebody who's just getting into it and looking for a pair of speakers to go along with that controller they just got. They're going to go out and do that first gig or whatever. They need something to solve all those problems. They got to do it on a budget. This is the Newmark Lightwave. Now it's really cool because it reacts to your music. It does illuminate the dance floor for you. It creates the mood. That's the other important thing. Lights are super important for a DJ. They oftentimes will get these up lights and whatnot to create a mood and atmosphere and things like that. So I can take this unit right here with all the LEDs in it and I can set it up so it will do a light show for me. So in this particular mode, all I'm doing right here is I'm going to change just the color of the music. I'm sorry, color of the LEDs. So we'll go through the colors that are available for it. In the next one, it's basically a meter. So basically it'll basically react to the music going through it and I can change the colors for that. That's going to get you in the mood if you're doing a mixtape at home, isn't it? It is, absolutely. <laughs> it's perfect for that. Um, the next next mode is essentially it's just this color organ. So it's a mixed mode. It changes, it changes colors based upon the frequency of the music that's playing. The next mode that's in here is a pulse mode. It just flashes with the music, basically with the beat and things like that are going through there. And the last mode is what we're calling a party mode. And that has a couple different options on it. When the knob is moved to one side on it, it basically will slowly go through to different colors. Or, or um, I'm actually on the wrong side. I'm on the side where it's actually very reactionary and just goes through and goes through all the different modes. But when I move over to the other side, it'll slowly change the colors and just create a bit of atmosphere in the room itself. Yeah, this is your kind of lounge DJing, it's exactly. kind of like, uh, you know, pre-main exactly. pre main event stuff. Exactly. And so so this is a column speaker, it's got, basically, it's got three uh, woofers in it, it's got a tweeter in there as well. And then on the back of it, uh, it's pole mountable by the way, so we have them on poles here at the show, and uh, it has a nice carry handle on the back, and let's look at the, what the inputs are in the back. Let's get, so let's get some close up on this uh, on yeah. these inputs at the exactly, back here. Exactly, so, so come on in. Alright, so we have on the back panel here, uh, we have all our controls for our lights, and so I went through to four different, five different modes that are here. And on this knob right here, it changes the color. And I have a little LED there that shows me what color I'm currently am on on the front of you, so I don't have to reach around to the front and find that. This is my brightness control. So I don't want any lights. I can turn the lights off. I don't have to have the lights on. So I have that as well for me. My, I have a couple of inputs here. Uh, I can plug in my controller. I have some RCAs where I can plug my controller in right there. I also have an input for, for a mini connector, so for my, my iPhone or whatnot. And then over here is a balanced XLR input. And the balanced XLR input can be used uh, with either a microphone or your line level source. And by having that there, I can actually run a microphone directly in here if I need to. I can use this, I can use an iPhone or, or something like that and a microphone. And I have a setup that I actually could use out in a reception area without having to set up a full DJ rig or whatever. It solves that problem as well. Now over here you're going to see an output right here and that basically is a link output. That I can run to the next speaker. So I can plug my microphone in here, I can plug my iPhone in here, then I can just run to as many speakers as I want down the row and whatever I say in this microphone here will be going through those other speakers as well. So it allows me to link together multiple speakers or maybe I'm setting it up with a subwoofer which is another option as well. You get a little subwoofer, one of our alto subs, uh, and set it up with this on a pole and you actually have a really powerful system. You know, it's great for, like I said, it's great for that guy who's looking for either a small setup for karaoke or if it's a guy who's just getting into it and, you know, you can't afford the lights or whatever else, it's a really good system for that. I think it's also very good for people who can't afford to buy two sets of speakers. One set for home and one set for right, the party. Because right. what, what we find is people will then try and use their home speakers at a party yeah, and then work. we all know what happens there. Yeah, they end up getting a, someone's foot through the cone well, yeah, or, or they, they blow them out or whatever. They blow out. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, we, we hear that time and time again. So yeah. we're always looking for little solutions where people can double up their gear. And, yes. and, and this to me looks like quite a good one. Yes. As you say, if you had a, if you had a subwoofer yes. or a couple if you want, you, you've got something to play out on that can go quite loud. Yes. But you get home, you just put these two back in the corner of your room and you're back to your, turn the lights down unless yeah. you're kind of party 24-7 exactly. and you're back to your normal speakers. Exactly. They're quite a neat little 
little design for that kind of DJ, as you yes. say. Awesome. They are the new Mark Lightweight. Thank Great. you very much, Chris. Thank you, Phil.